you know, photographers are the keepers of stories. Is there any particular story that you think back of now over the last couple of months that really touched you, that that stayed with you, that's very difficult to shake off? Uh, yes, I have a few such stories. Uh, some of them was published, some of them not yet, uh, but will be. Uh, one of the stories like children from Bakhmut. Uh, I go to the like uh, some like food point and heating point and saw the family, uh, husband, wife, and three small children, like uh, eight, twelve, and fourteen years. Uh, and I decided to follow them to his house. Uh, it was like underground. Uh, they live in such condition for a few months, under shelling, uh, under without water, without like proper food, without proper heating. Uh, and uh, it's really impressed me because when I start to talk uh, with them about the situation uh, and uh, what children want to Christmas, uh, one of the small kids said me, uh, I want to have generator. And, you know, like, he said it in such a way, uh, so open, and uh, it so touched me because, you know, like, in this century, in modern, like, world, uh, kids uh, don't want, uh, like, I don't know, Barbie, don't want ice cream. Yes. Uh, at that moment, they really, like, want to have generator just to play maybe PC, you know, notebook, some games. But, uh, no, it's re really, really touched me at that moment. And thanks to God, uh, these, like, kids escaped the city, and now they live near Kiev. Uh, and uh, I tried to collect some money for them, like, to help the family. Uh, and this uh, story had, like, a happy end, yeah.